Hi everyone, today's recipe is one I'm really excited about. Today we're making 1930s chop suey. <laughs>
rest but this is done i'm so excited it smells really good for some reason i expect it to look more brown but it's actually a pretty bright greenish color um i accidentally did about an ounce of ginger instead of a quarter of an ounce so this has extra ginger um they didn't say how much chinese cabbage so i did an entire napa cabbage so i'm hoping that's what they meant and yeah i just did my best to translate what the ingredients meant and now it's done and it smells really good i'm not sure how close to the original this is but i had to try this because this is the recipe i've been interested in ever since i was young um like i'm still young but i mean like little um i've always wanted to make chop suey it's one that you hear about and i've seen it in movies and in, on tv and in radio dramas mostly the older ones but i've seen it a lot or heard about it a lot um, and I always wondered what it was. And I kind of assumed that it was kind of like chicken lo mein. Um, but I don't, it's not. It has no noodles in it. Um, the, whenever I think of chop suey, I always think of the Bonita Granville Nancy Drew, where her and Ned had to buy chop suey for her little sister. I believe it's her, her little sister maybe little brother as well. I know there's a boy, but I can't remember if it was her brother or not. <laughs> Anyways, they had to buy chop suey for all of them, and they didn't have enough money, and so they had to end up, they ended up having to sing at the Chinese place in order to pay for their meal, because <laughs> they didn't want to wash the dishes. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I always think of whenever I think of chop suey, and I always thought it was kind of like a noodle dish, but this obviously has no noodles in it. You already saw me make it, and enough talk. Let's just try it. It's very hot. I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything, but there's a lot in here, so we'll see how that goes. Mmm. Alright, so this is really, really good. So, you taste the cabbage, like the flavor of the cabbage, and the ginger, and it's like really fresh, and so you taste like the flavor of the cabbage and the ginger is the first things I tasted and then it's like the onion and the chicken and the stock you get the like crispy water chestnuts which I've always loved water chestnuts and then the bamboo shoots um you kind of just you don't really taste those very much they're just a bit of a texture thing um but I guess water chestnuts are a bit the same they're just different text different textures um and it's like very light soy sauce I don't think it's as most American Chinese foods I have I haven't had like authentic Chinese food, um, but the American Chinese food I have had is typically very sweet, um, and this is not sweet, and it's also typically very soy sauce heavy. This is not. This is like the perfect, like I like soy sauce heavy things, but this is like a very light soy sauce flavor with the ginger and the garlic. You like taste the ginger first with the flavor of the cabbage. And then like the bamboo shoots and water chestnuts are more there for texture, I think. And then you have the chicken and the stock. And this is really, really good. Anyways, highly recommend this one. It's like, it satisfies the Chinese food craving without getting take out or spending a lot of time making other Chinese food dishes. And if you've never had chop suey or never heard of it, what would you assume chop suey was if you had no idea what it was? Um, because this is very different from what I've always thought chop suey was or had the idea I had made in my head about chop suey. Um, and this is really good. Also, chop suey is so fun to say. <laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those words, phrases, whatever. That is just really fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.